Let's take a look at the steps you'll go through when setting up your course for iClickers. The first thing we need to do is to make sure the tool is available. Under Customization, go to Tool Availability. I'll scroll down to iClickers, and I can see that I need to turn these both on to make them available to me. I'm going to make both of these resources available. For sure I need the student registration, but it's also handy to have the instructor resources, and we'll look at that in a minute. I'll click Submit, and now these tools will be available to me. And I can see this in the Tools area now. Let's take a look at making a link in the menu area for students to register their clicker. I'll go to Add Menu Item and select Tool Link. I'll call it Clicker Registration and I'll select the tool from the drop-down menu. And I'll make sure it's available to my students. I'm going to move this up to the top of my menu because it's one of the first things I want my students to see and do. I'll just drag and drop right under the announcements. Let's take a look at what the student sees when they select Clicker Registration. I'm going to minimize my menu. And the student is prompted to enter the Clicker ID number. The Clicker ID number can be found on the back of the Clicker itself. However, the Clicker ID can also be seen when they power up their Clicker. The student simply enters their information here. and click Submit. Since we went ahead and turned on Clicker Instructor Resources, let's take a look at that tool that's available to us now. I'll go down to Course Tools and select the Clicker Instructor Tools. Here I need to get an SSO key to run with my iClicker software. I'll copy this key and I'll launch my software. I'll go to Settings and I'll go to Gradebook and I'll select my course. I'll log in here and use that key that I just copied. Now I'll select my course. I'll click Save. I'll open the gradebook and I'll select Sync Roster. My roster is now synced with my iClicker software. And don't forget to enter your own Clicker ID in Settings for Clicker ID. Also remember to check your frequency code for your room. its.unl.edu srs Besides the software, you'll also find some helpful user guides here.